Hi guys and welcome to this new tutorial. I'm Yasin Zainun and today I'll be showing you how to make this movie cover in Photoshop. So in this video you will be learning how to use correctly uh, textures and blending mode. So let's get started. First we will need the uh, okay a model, it's a stock photo from Stock Vault. That's net and also some uh, textures. I have three files here of a texture. So let's get started. So I will make a new file, Control N. I'm going to be, so name it Python 2. Okay, 100, um, 1200 pixels wide in the width and 1800 for, for height. Resolution 72, and I'm going to choose the color for the transparent black. Um, black. Okay, white, I'm going to choose to change it to black. Uh, okay, okay, if you're going to use it for print, you can go to, with 300 pixels. Good, so the first thing I'm going to need is I'm going to first import my first my first picture, which is a model picture. Okay, I'm going to, to center it here, make it in the middle, make it smaller, something like this. Okay, and okay, the background as I said should be black. And I'm going to make, okay, she's, maybe it should be a little small, something like this. Okay, and I'm going to duplicate this layer. And before I start, okay, so I need to mask this area so it's going to be as it's scattered or, or melting or uh, tearing up. So I'm going to create a new file, any size is important. Okay, and I'm going to make a brush, the brush I'm going to use for, uh, for masking. So I take my lasso tool, I just uh, make random things like this. Okay, this should be um, uh, sharp. So like triangles or s just random uh, shapes like if it's something broken okay um okay this is enough i think okay and i go to it uh first make it with black and go to edit maybe i don't like this one please we should suppress it and make it with white mm, this one also is too big Good. So I go now to edit and uh, define brush. So this is only if we can to say uh, to show how to make this. So I name it scatter sharp. I already created another one, and I close this document. No, and I go to my. So first, I'm, I, I will need to duplicate this one in the bottom to make it bigger than the than the one on the top. So I hold this. And and drag it somewhere here. Okay, until I can see it's from the edge of the original image. Okay, um, only from the the left side. I mean the front. So I'm not interested in the size or going uh, size in the back. Okay, and now I hide this. Okay, and it starts masking. I mask. I add the mask. I take my brush and I scroll way down to the brush I created. I already created another one, so I will delete it. And I'm going to use this one three three two, and starts masking. Okay, take my black color and make a smaller, smaller brush first, and then go with with small. I'm oh, sorry. Before we start, we go uh, click on F5 to go to add the shape dynamics for the brush. So about 64 angular jitter and roundness maybe about 10 or about. And I go to scattering and also the counter about something like so not too much. And I go now. I can okay when I click look the uh, the sorry the opacity should be. 100%. Okay, so when I click, the, uh, the image change uh, direction automatically. Okay, so this, so I come here with the edges of the side I'm going to, to be making the effects for, and just make random, and they put randomly here on there, something like this. Okay. Okay, the effect is going to be start here. Next, I make I make it smaller, and I go back again. On the places where there is too much flesh. Great. Now I'm going to show the uh, image in the bottom, and I'm going to do the same thing because we look. If we see here, we have this edge. So, sorry, we should start with a bigger brush as in the beginning, something like this. Okay, maybe smaller now. Here and there, here, there. 
Okay, now I make it in a smaller bar, smaller, and it go to the here where we have this edge. Okay, so when they start also making that. that affects with the, the image in the past. Okay, so we don't want that age we, 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 as if it is finishing here, sorry. So I'm going to hide this, something like that. So, so th that's to show that this is not an age of an R. The same thing with the origin image. Okay, so I make this one maybe smaller and now it paints directly, I don't, sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not too much. Maybe something like this. Okay, so smaller pants. And go here and let's start painting with white this time. Yeah, and I'm going to repeat the effect with bigger brush one in the bottom okay we are going to blend this together because it's only the start of the effects so I stop here so you know, and they go to okay in the back we don't need to, to add the effects in the back so I take a normal brush a soft one okay uh, something because something like this and they just paint with black very soft, maybe it paints something with white and repeat again. Great, somewhere hot also. Okay, this is enough. Now I finish with the first step. Next, now I start adding the effects and the texture. So, I go and go to file, place, and I place my first. Uh, my first texture, which is this smashed glass, okay. So when they make it um, over the model, coming in above to the down somewhere, something like this, okay. And they change the blend mode um, to soft light, okay. So because I want only to keep the 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 soft uh, places or areas, maybe uh, going to reduce it a little bit, something like this, okay. And I don't want the effect to take the, the hair, and besides, it's too strong. So we take Opacity uh, some way down to about 80 and add another a mask and hold my brush again and brush with black on over the hair so that the hair is normal. Smaller brush again. Okay, also here. Okay, on the face we will have the effects but but uh, not so strong as on the arms and the other part. So I hold I take the opacity to about 20 or about and they start painting over the face. So I don't want that strong effects on on the face. And also on some places here also, and still the effect is too strong. Seventy is better. Great. Next, I'm going to add now is a background. Okay, background. I'm going to add also a texture. Let's go into with uh, make a blend mode and then mix it uh, work as a background. So I go to file and place again and and, um, and bring my texture. So this piece of texture. I center it somewhere, slide it to to my image canvas. Okay, and I'm going to change this. Sorry, pull it down a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to change the blend mode to pin light. Okay, so here we have the effect. But okay, we need to mask it on the uh, on the model. So I add a mask again and a big brush. Okay, opacity 100%. And you can just hide the, okay the effects from the from the model. Now take a small brush and start working. Sorry, and start working on this on the edges carefully. Okay, so take time to do this. Okay, and leave in some black, some black on the edges to show as if it is shadow or something. Great, way down also. Okay, down maybe I don't want that effect in the bottom, so oh, I don't I want to increase it. So here more black. 
show more from the black and that way I say they don't want a strong effect. So that way I say it's way down like this. Okay, so as if it, this is a wall or something on the bottom. Next I'm going to add those rust red effects so we have a rust texture and now I go file and place and they take my rust texture. Okay, and they put over my model again. Okay, it's going to take the effects on the whole image from the textures and the model also. The resize is something like this. Okay, and change the blend mode then go to overlay. Great, but it's too strong here on the uh, fingers and uh, the background also. So I'm going to maybe to move it a little bit up somewhere. Maybe I want that there. Sir. Something like this. No, so I'm going to turn the fear of the opacity way down. Yes, this is better. 50% is better. So before, after, before, after. Now I'm going to blend all this together. So I'm going to add first a curve, single curve to lighten this. And I'm going to add an adjustment layer solid color. And I'm going to choose a soft blue something like this and change the blend mode to color okay it's too strong so I'll, I'll lower down the opacity to about 30 or about great and now it looks like dark night or something good so before after we are getting there I think uh, lastly now we have get the effects we want Maybe the grass is here is too strong on the eye, so we come back down to the glass and take a smaller brush. So the techniques of masking and playing with texture is really very creative, and especially with blending modes in Photoshop, they are very very uh, creative. You can get very creative, and uh, we are recommended. You have to master these blend modes and using them with texture, you will just great. Great. So uh, uh, now I have. Uh, I need to add the title and the credits. So I already prepared our credits, so I'm going to prepare to import it and uh, add the title. So I go way down. So now I'm going to just group this. Shift click and Control G and call it main and create a new layer. Okay, and take my text, my type tool, and I. Uh, I type a title, sorry. Uh, is it beaten? Centered, okay. It's the same uh, typeface I used. Sorry. Okay, so make it something bigger. And then I want it to be a uh, bold and uh, white okay uh, and white because I'm going to duplicate this and make a uh, motion blur for the background and maybe it's too tall down some something like this good I'm going to duplicate this control G to duplicate and go to the and bring this to the button and I'm going to rasterize it so right click and choose rasterize go to filter and blur and then choose motion blur vertical 90% of the angle and strand for about mm, say 60 I think it's enough okay but it's why I don't like the white uh, okay this white I I want to make it a little bit darker so we choose a color some a dark white something like this and I Okay, so I want to replace the color I have on this layer, so I want to repeat this step. So I hold. Uh, okay, if I want to to fill this layer with the, the color I have for in the foreground, I hold Alt and Backspace to fill it. But I want to replace that one, so I hold Alt, Shift, and Back and Delete Backspace to replace it. So before, after. So just to make it a little bit darker. Okay, or I'm duplicating it, and the effect is in better. So. And also, I need to, to add some, uh, maybe some uh, gradient. Okay, and take it the black to white, and take it some way down here, something like this. Okay, just to get this effect. And next, okay, maybe I want to make it.
somewhere a little bit into the top beaten and maybe I want to add some satin or something okay it's because uh, to make it stand out okay because in the first one it's different so with satin I'm going to choose uh, something blue blue and okay color color burn and opacity way down something like this you add a little blue to that text okay something like this great uh, now I think it's great yes uh, now what I want to add is the credit so I'll go I bring my credit so I already prepared this credit so I just duplicate this to bit and two okay and I go to bit and two and there is my credit Oh, this is PC1. Where is, where is my? Yeah, sorry, there it is. And they resize it. Wait down. Okay, I think it's, it's because the way we have a black background, it's uh, it's readable and uh, and clean and clear. If it is not, you can add duplicate this one and do the same thing and add a uh, blurred copy of that in the back. So that's it, guys, for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe and visit the website where there is a lot coming so see you soon